guys, your girl Yammy's here and I am down at Disney Springs. I'm on my third series of Disney Springs and today we're gonna focus in on the landing. And the landing is where the former Pleasure Island was located. The landing is a thriving commercial district that includes inspired dining, unique shopping, and beautiful waterfront views. So let's go check this out. Now I parked in the Lime Garage and that's straight behind me and you come out right by um, Polite Pig and the water fountain there. So to get to it you just cross the bridge and you're there at the Springs Bottling Company where Moto, M Marty Moto Asia is at, I think I said that right, and Gideon's Cookies. This green area right in here, this is the landing and this is where we're going to focus on today. Okay, we came straight off the garage and we're going to walk this way and there is a nice long line for Gideon's. So we'll get a menu and see if I want the cookie or not. And see if maybe the line gets a little shorter later because it's the first everybody gets here for the new cookie of the month. So. They're usually busy on the first. This line is so long that I probably think we're gonna probably be here about an hour. So I opted not to stay in line for Gideon's cookie. Um, their new cookie was a chocolate covered strawberry, which sounds so good, but I'll be back here next week. So I'll just get that cookie then. And so I just passed it up, you know, for now. But I wanted to show you another way to get to the landing besides from the Lime Garage. So if you're coming from the Orange Garage, that's right here. All right, so this is where the Orange Garage is at, the Coca-Cola store, and um, Planet Hollywood's right here. And remember this walkway I showed you from the west side where Disney Styles is, Starbucks, the character in flight balloon? And I said there's a walkway right here. Well, this walkway is gonna take us right to the landing. So we'll go this way and I'll show you from this point. As we're crossing the bridge, we didn't even get across the bridge all the way, but right here is Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel and Restaurant. This is um, a private, I mean, it's not private, it's open to the public, but it's kind of like it's hidden off the path kind of a restaurant. So this is where you would go for this restaurant here. But it's right next door to STK and across from Maria and Enzo. So that would be why they would have a hideaway. So there's Maria and Enzo's. And you would see why there would be a hideaway just on the other side of the bridge where nobody can see it. There's a sign to tell you how to get to Enzo's hideaway. You just go right down these steps and boom, there's Enzo's hideaway. The first restaurant at the top of the hill on your right is going to be STK, which is a steak restaurant. And I'm telling you, it smells so good here all the time. I've not eaten here. It's expensive. It's pricey. One day I will get there, but right now I'm not getting there. Here's STK's menu. They have a 19.99 filet mignon. And you can get a side for $5 more or a Wagyu burger and fry for 10 bucks. That's not too bad. But this is um, the all day menu here. And then they have the lunch entrees. It's really hard to see. But here's a QR code here. So you can scan and get the full menu. Okay, if you go underneath the sign for Maria and Enzo's is Pizza Point. And in there you can get pizza. And you can get pizza by a slice or you can get a whole pizza. And they have um, cheesecakes and tiramisu and cannolis and rainbow cookies and chocolate chip cookies. They've got all kinds of stuff. But this is the entrance next door here to Maria and Enzo's restaurant. And there's a menu, which they're showing the lunch menu. Okay, here's the lunch menu. One day I will eat in here and try this all out. This one, they don't put the prices on them. 
This menu has the price on it, right down below where it says serves two for thirty-two dollars. So. Again, there's the QR code, so if you want to see the full menu, you can do so. All right, next to Marie and Enzo's is the Edison, and there's no menu out for them. All right, for Enzo's, or I mean for the Edison, since there's no menu out, I did find this board here, and there is a QR code right there, so you can get the menu. And you can view the um, events that are happening here. All right, so not, next to STK are bathrooms. So those are the bathrooms, first bathrooms you can find in this area. As um, far as I know, the next bathrooms are over by Homecoming. So that's in a whole different area, I think. So there's the bathrooms next to STK. And it's across from this... Paradiso 37. I've eaten here once. Um, it was okay. Price-wise wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't my cup of tea. Might be yours, but it wasn't mine. There's their menu, well some of their menu here. And if you want to see the full menu, there's the um, QR code right there. But this was Paradiso 37. I think I'm saying the name right. And um, they have special drinks. Premium Wells, five bucks. Oh, margaritas, eight dollars. Ah, I might have to um, stop for happy hour. Just kidding. All right, now restaurants are done for a minute. Over here is an empty store now. This used to be the Art of Shaving, and it closed right after New Year's. I had gone in here, and I had bought some um, a razor for Boo out of here for Christmas. And I was going to come back. We were going to come back after New Year's and um, get this kit that they had there, but they closed on us. But they say something new is coming, so I don't know what exactly is coming. And over at Paradise with 37, they do have a patio, so if you want to sit outside, like today would be a beautiful day to sit outside because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Now, I'm not sure how you pronounce this one. Is it Sanku? San, Sanku? I don't know. But they have shoes. And they have some markdowns. So if you're interested in some shoes, Stop into this store. Next to the shoe store is the ganachery, and of course, it's a chocolate shop. I will take you in here, and I am gonna fight the urge to buy something. They have some special pecan pralines covered in dark chocolate, and these are special for Seoul. I love coming in here because you can watch them decorate and make candy in here. But I'm not sure what she's making, but she's making something. That s'more is eight fifty, but it looks yummy. Now over here you can buy. Oh, there's some Star Wars, Millennium Falcon Pops. Oh, here's the, the, the pralines. They're in the box, so it's 10 bucks for four of them. You can buy something here. What is this? Chocolate covered marshmallows for $8.50. But their big thing is these piñatas. They make these um, piñata candies and then you get a mallet and you get to beat it up and um, there's chocolate inside and goodies inside. But the whole outside is all edible too. So this is has to be for Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. And then down here, these are 
um, hot chocolate bombs, something like that. They're called Olaf's Hot Cocoa Surprise. You put them in some milk and um, you, you heat up one cup of milk and one cup of heavy cream mixed together. Put this in there and let it melt. And you have a yummy, yummy chocolate drink. They have 17 different flavors of chocolate squares. There was a lot of people just came in, so I wasn't able to get to the counter to show you the squares, but the squares are $3 each. But I know if you buy like a certain amount, it's, it's at a cheaper price. So like six of them might be cheaper than three bucks a piece. Just saying, I couldn't get to the menu to really see. Um, so we're gone to the next store is the Savannah Bee Company. And We'll go in there because I've never been in there. So in here you can buy honeys and they got hot honeys. So they must have something spicy inside them. They do have barbecue sauce. They do have raw honey with lavender. Okay, thank you. And you can sample them if you would like to sample them. And then they've also got some shortbread bites and chocolate covered raisins, pecans, oh, those go for $29, you can see they have candles, they have, um, let's check over here, got body butters, and they do have lip balm, Good to know because I'm always running out of mine and I'm always down here and can never find any so now I know to come here for the lip, lip balms and they're only four dollars a piece so that's not bad hand cream oh, they got coffee and this must be something interactive but there's the candles, they're nice big candles. And it's made out of 100% bee, bee, beeswax. They have whipped honey with pumpkin spice. Ooh. The hot honey? Yeah. You got it. Our second stick again. Peppers keep them from going like in the honey though, because they keep getting the little legs. Uh oh. But I don't think he really minds. She really minds. There we go. There you go. <laughs> so these are not their bees. They just happen to be in here and buzz around. But they do have a, a honey bar. So if you want to taste any of the honeys, she's here to help you with that. And they do have drinks here that you can pick from some mead bar I'm not sure what mead is fermented honey okay it's fermented honey so it's honey wine you might as well say sounds good see you later from three to six. Okay, Tuesday through Thursday, three to six, you can come in and get a flight for eight dollars. Something interesting if you want to try it. All right, so we just came out of Savannah Bee Company. Next door is the Oakley, that's sunglasses, and I see they have shirts in there. And next door to that is Gideon's Bakehouse. Um, and the line is around the corner next door to, on the other side of Gideon's is the um, Morimoto Asia restaurant and here is this is Paradiso 37 and this air is a boat landing but I don't think it's ever opened up since COVID so it's been I believe it's still closed all right so next to the boat launch is the hangar bar Jack Lindsay's hangar bar and it's a bar but they do have they do have some food in there uh, let me see if I can find a menu. All right, this is just of their specialty drinks that they have. 
I do see a QR code on this board where right now they have some marinated fried pork shoulder, fried green plantains, and I'm not sure what pickles is, but it's something new that they have here for the month. And there's the QR code if you want to find out more about the special offerings. Right across from Jack Lindsay's Hangar Bar is Wine Bar George. And then they have a takeout, like a, a quick serve, called the Basket there. But um, they have a lot of wines, but they do have food in here and some of the appetizers, the charcuterie board, the meatballs with polenta, and um, a few other things that we've had here has been excellent. So if you want to try some appetizers and have a glass of wine, you know, just a little thing to tie you over into your next meal, this is definitely one of the places to go. The meatballs, yeah. And then we had the charcuterie board which they have three to pick from. And then they do have entrees also. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Now, if you need a little break in here, there's a little seating area here, very nice. And it's next to the Amplicar launch. So you can always watch. And I think they're about to take off. Let's see if we can get over here and see this. Or maybe they just land it. We'll see if we can get another one. All right, so they're loading up a family into the car. Little ones do have to wear um, life jackets while in here. All right, he's getting ready to take off on this, so. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> and there it goes. Let me see if I can see anything getting in the water. No, there's a car in my way. Splash, they're in the water. And that's how they get in the water right there. Now, right next to the Amplicars is the boathouse. And they have waterfront dining. There's an area you can sit in and you can watch the Amplicars going. Let me see if I can see a menu. I see one. We'll get over here. They have an oyster bar, if you're interested in oysters. I've tried them. I don't know if I would ever order them myself. I'd probably try them. I get no QR code here, so I hope you're able to see this through the reflection. Attached to the boathouse is a store, and it's everything nautical that you could want. So we'll go in here and take a look. They look like wine bottles, but they're umbrellas. How cute. They have Florida themed items in here. Water themes. So you got a, you got a map up there on that pillow of the Great Lakes. They've got these little signs that you can buy and you can put on your walls or Decorate it, suck it up buttercup, you know, those cute ones. And there's the pictures that you can buy. Yeah, you have to buy the pictures. Look how adorable this pink duck is for six bucks. Oh my gosh, that's it. And then there's this big one here. This one's 15. You can buy some patriotic ducks. Look at the big giant ducks for 30. Oh my goodness. And you got the little ones here for six bucks. And you got more up here. And I believe these are all, oh, these are $8. The Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. You had a duck in a car for $21. All right, so we came down this way and seen the Amplicars, the boathouse. Across from the boathouse is a Joffrey's location. And next to Joffrey's is a bathroom right in that cubby right there. So obviously we all know what they serve here, so. No need to go in there. They got coffees. Now we're almost done with the landing, but we still have a few more stores and restaurants to hit. Okay, next to the boathouse's um, boutique, boot, boot, 
boutique <laughs> is the Havanias, their shoes. Uh, mostly flip-flops, I believe. And they do have a collab with Mickey and friends in here. Right next to where the bathroom is, and there's Joffrey's right there on that corner, is Chapel Hats. So if you're looking for a hat, they have all kinds of hats. They have fancy hats, they've got plain hats, they've got beanies, <laughs> and they probably have baseball caps too. So anything that you may want in a hat is gonna probably be here. I don't think they have baseball hats, but they have all kinds of hats in here. Next to the hat store is the bakery. And why it's the um, <clears throat> Aaron McKinnon bakery and it's vegan vegan snacks and they have a vegan hot cocoa and ice cream they have a lot of vegan stuff in here there's the orange bird mur mural and it's attached to the bakery the vegan bakery and then across over here we have a restaurant which i've never been to all right this is an italian restaurant called terralina's and there is a menu here they do open up at 4 o'clock, so there's no lunch menu. Um, no QR code on here, but here's their menu. You can always go online and look up Terralina's on the My Disney Experience app, and you can find more of the menu if you want a more in-depth menu. Next door to Terralina's is the eye catchers, and these things are so pretty. I love watching them turn. I like how they got the Mickey ones. I mean, look at this one here. Isn't that pretty? Next door is Paddlefish. It is a fish restaurant, you know, seafood. We'll go over here to the menu. It looks like they do have like crab legs and fish, and they probably have oysters, crab cakes. Yeah, they got the lunch and the dinner menu here. No QR code. Right out in front of Paddlefish is the Corksicle store, and they have cups for everything, but they do have a collection with Disney You know, I spotted a flamingo a mile away. I like that one. Here's the Disney collection here, but look at the bags that you can buy for your for your bottles. They go for I don't know. No price on them. Oh, here. The sling is $80. They do have another collection over here. This is Disney too, but they're prettier bottles. Like there's the Little Mermaid, the castles. And you got Star Wars and Marvel. Oh, the character of flight's going up. All right, so T-Rex is the last restaurant that you're gonna to come to before you get to the marketplace. And the marketplace is where World of Disney is and the Rainforest Cafe is all over on that side. So now that we've continued to hear or have done this side, we're gonna go along and we're gonna go down this another aisle. So from World of Disney, if you just take the walkway straight, you'll come right into T-Rex because it's right next to you can see the world of Disney. It's right next door to the Lego store. Right next door to T-Rex, across from Paddlefish, is the Wonder Made Magical Marshmallows. And they do have boozy marshmallows too. So if you want to have a little booze with it, you can do marshmallows and booze. Go figure. At Disney. Next door to the marshmallows, 
And of course we have a little popcorn cart there. We have the Happy Hound and this is everything you need for your dogs. Not everything, but it's all for your dogs. There's clothing, there's bandanas, there's stuffed animals, bow ties. They do have treats in here and toys. No agenda. Now we're we've gone down this back row and back here we have Cooks of Dublin fish and chips. Wonderful fish and chips. It's a really good place to uh, get a bite to eat, which I am getting hungry. Nah, I'll wait. Here's their menu. You got fish, you got chicken. There is a pork shoulder. And they do have kids menu, they do have a hot dog. Why? So it's, it's, it's a good place to eat, but right next door to them is the hole in the wall, and it's a little bar. So if you need to sit down and have a drink, you have a bar here you can relax at. And it's right across from the spring, so you always have these beautiful views of the spring. Okay, right next door to the Hole in the Wall and Cooks of Dublin is Raglan Road. Um, never eaten in here yet. It's one place I do want to try. Hi, this is Raglan Road's menu. Looks like a firehouse to me. But they do have outdoor dining and it's attached to um, that's Wine Bar George, and there's Gideon's line right there, so you're right by Gideon's, so you can grab you a bite to eat after you get you a Gideon's cookie. Alright, there's the lines for Gideon's, but it's right next door to Morimoto Asia, which is a Japanese restaurant. But they do have a quick serve that's right down here, and I'll show you that. Alright, their quick serve here, there is a... QR code for you to do, but they call it street food. It's open from noon to eight. And you just go right up to this window here and you place your order. And they always have poor ducks hanging there. That's why you never see any Disney ducks around here. I will never eat duck again. Last time I ate duck, I got dirty looks from a duck. So, plus I didn't like it. <laughs> right across from the street food restaurant, <clears throat> the um, street food is homecoming and um, homecoming has some pretty good fried chicken um, we went there for my 50th birthday and it was all very good food homecoming here is right behind STK steak restaurant and there is a set of bathrooms here which right on the other side is another is the other set of bathrooms. So we do have another set of bathrooms here. And there is Planet Hollywood. So this was pretty much the landing. So that was the landing down here at Disney Springs. I hope that helps you out a little bit. If you're new to the area, if you've never been to Disney Springs, watch these videos get the lay of the land um, figure out what stores are there and what they sell so this way you know where you want to go <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that so if you're looking for a travel agent I'm your girl so get a hold of me at 407-494-1307 or get busy living at makingmagicalmoments.com and I can give you a, a quote so you know how much it's going to cost and you can make payments you know there's all kinds of ways that you can make it to disney so if you're interested in finding out more get a hold of me and i can help you out all right and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button give me that thumbs up and um, go back and watch my other two videos of if you'd like to join our Patreon account, you can do so at patreon.com slash yammy. And you can join as well as $5 a month and you can get these videos seen before they are published on YouTube. Right? 
We have lots of fun, exciting things happening this year, and the patrons will get notified of that before it gets um, published on YouTube. So join our Patreon account to get some of the inside news. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, but at least hit that subscribe button that helps me out and watch my videos. That helps me out greatly. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you for being here and I love you all. Mm. Bye.